wondering how to use the Mum Cozy V1 Pro, then stick around as in this video I am going to walk you through all the different components that make up the Mum Cozy V1 Pro, its settings and how to use it effectively. So let's get started by looking at the components. First you have your pump motor. Now this has an adjustable lanyard on the top so it can fit around your wrist or your neck. It is what creates your suction and it also comes with your operational LED screen for controlling your pump. Now this connects to your collection cups via tubing. Now there are two tubings that are included in your pack. You have just a single tube connector. This is for single pumping and there is also a second one for your double pumping which comes with the two connector pieces. So this attaches to your collection container. Now your collection container comprises of your container and your flange. You have a really handy flange lid or cover. Now, if I was to pull this apart, you have your collection cup. Now, this is seven ounces or up to 230 millimeter capacity. So very large, very handy. It has an inbuilt diaphragm. So this part is not removable, which yay, that means one less part to clean, which is something I really love about these V1 cups. You have your duckbill valve and then you have your connector piece which again is integrated with your flange. So again very minimal parts to have to pull apart and clean on the V1 Pro which I love. You'll see this little part sticking up here. Now this is your pouring spout cover. It lid that goes into your top of your pouring spout to help prevent leaks. So how does this all go back together? It's very, very simple with the V1. You simply take your duckbill valve, attach it to the base of your connector piece, take your collection cup. Now we're just going to align these so your pouring spout lid goes into the top of your pouring spout and then simply push your flange cover firmly into place. Now this needs to be pushed in firmly. It is a nice hard plastic so it goes in nice and easy. You won't hear a click because it has a soft silicon rim but you can easily see whether that has been pushed into place or not. I like to always go around and double check. Then depending if you are going to be doing single or double pumping, choose your tubing. For the simplicity, I will do a single. Now on the top of this, you can see that there is a dot. Now that lines with the top here. So we simply, again, push that into place making sure that dot is lined up with the top. Once that is in place and you will hear a click, you take the connector piece at the bottom and place that into the base of your pump. Now, this is set ready for single pumping. If you want to do double pumping, again, you take the double connector tubing and simply do the same process for your second collection cut. Once your pump is all together we can get started with our pumping. So before we do that let's run through and take a look at some of these settings. Now with the Mum Cozy V1 Pro you have quite a few options here and I really do love this for how easy it is to customize your pumping session to your comfort. So to get started you will want to start on your stimulation mode. Now these are short, sharp suctions to initiate your letdown and that's represented by this heart. Now there are three modes. So you have your stimulation and this runs for about two minutes. 
Then you have your expression mode, which are the longer drawn out suctions for sucking out your breast milk. And you also have the option for a mixed mode, which is the heart and the droplet together. You'll see these um, number in the middle. Now this is your suction strength. So this goes up to 15 different levels. It's adjustable by this minus and plus button. Now, I recommend starting on a really low setting, something around a two or a three, and working your way up until you find a vacuum suction strength that is comfortable but still feels strong enough to be drawing out your breast milk. Now, you can see up the top here that you have a timer, and this is really unique to the V1 Pro, not the timer, but the ability to set how long you want to do your pumping session for. So if you press this timer button here, you can either go down with the minus button down to five minutes or all the way up to 30 minutes with the plus button. And that will set how long you want to do your pumping session for. So if I only want to pump for 15 minutes, I set it on 15 minutes that will then count down and after the 15 minutes, my pump will turn off. Love this feature. Very easy to use. Press the timer and plus or minus depending on how long you want your pumping session to go. You have a play button and a pause button so you can easily uh, pause your session as you need. Then up the top here, you have your cycle button. Now again, this is really unique to the V1 Pro. This lets you choose your cycle or uh, frequency of how many cycles you want per minute. So you can have it low, high or medium. And again, this is going to be just play around and find what suits you best. This is just the number of cycles you will get through a minute. So if you're somebody that responds better to the slower cycle, then go on the low. If you are somebody that likes the, um, or responds better to the higher frequencies of cycles or the, uh, like the stimulation mode, then you can set this to the high, or if you're not sure, start on the medium and have a go playing through. Now your lights will turn off um, without use after about 10, 15 seconds. Um, so that's very handy, especially if you are nighttime pumping, you can see here that you have your battery life. So this is getting low when it's three bars. That means that your pump is fully charged Now your pump should last around 200 and 70 minutes on a single charge so that's a huge 9 30 minute pumping sessions or more if you are doing shorter sessions so love this for the battery life to turn your pump fully off you simply hold in the power button okay so we are ready to pump what do we need to do take your flange cup we're assuming that you have cleaned and sterilized your pump parts. Then you are going to want to make sure first that you have the correct flange size. So as I said, this is a 24 millimeter flange. You have a nipple measuring tool that comes with your kit. I highly recommend that you use this to test out what nipple size is best for you. It does go through and gives you a brief instructions on how to use this. If the 24 is too big for you, choose one of the flange inserts. They simply slide in onto the top of your flange tunnel. Make sure they are nice and flat. That then reduces your flange tunnel size to the size of the insert. So I think this is a 17 millimeter that has taken my 24 millimeter down to a 17 millimeter flange. So I'll leave that on. Um, once you have the correct nipple size, you're going to want to attach your uh, collection container to your breast. So imagine my hand is your breast. You're going to want to line your nipple up centrally in the flange tunnel. You don't want it off or 
the wrong side. It will hurt if um, it is pulling in wrong. Or again, if you've got the wrong flange tunnel size, it will potentially draw in too much of your areola or not be um, sucking in enough. And again, low output, sore nipples, damage. So it is really important to have this nice and lined up straight, make sure it's free moving. Um, so that is now on our breast. We want to secure this with our uh, pumping bra. You can then go ahead and attach your lanyard to whatever is comfortable. You can extend and then go around your neck, whatever you choose. And then we are going to want to turn our pump on. It will need to go onto your stimulation, so the heart. That is for about two minutes to initiate your letdown. Once your letdown has come into play, swap to either your expression or mixed mode. Adjust your settings to your comfort level. Again, start low, move up until you find a comfortable session for you. You can adjust at the start. I like to adjust your timer and then have your pumping session. Um, once you're finished, simply turn off your pump motor. We are going to want to lean slightly forward, break the seal with our finger. You don't want to just rip your um, collection cup off because that's going to pull your nipple with it and be quite painful. You also want to lean slightly forward in case there's any spillage. Um, and then you can disconnect your tubing. There is a nice flat bottom on this so it will stand up, which is great if you're double pumping. And then to simply remove the lid and then you can pour your breast milk into your storage container. Once you're done, you're going to want to pull all the parts that have come into contact with your breast milk um, apart. Your tubing, this is a closed system, so your tubing and your pump motor do not come in contact with your breast milk. These do not need to be uh, cleaned and sterilized. If it does get a little bit of breast milk on it, just simply wipe it down with a dry or damp cloth. If you notice any moisture in your tubing, then it is ideal to replace it. Uh, so you have your three components. These just simply need to be washed in warm soapy water and then sterilized. Unfortunately, the V1 Pro is not dishwasher safe and the, it is recommended for boiling, not for a microwave or UV sterilizer. It can't go above 110 degrees and boiling point is 100 degrees so they recommend boiling um, for your sterilization uh, you should be sterilizing these at least once a day depending on your circumstances so hopefully this video helps if you have any questions on how to use your pump please ask and i will do my very best to answer them thanks